hello. Elizabeth Barn really loves bugs. It's a moth. Oh my God, you're beautiful. Hold on, let me get a picture. And as excited as she is to find this okay. winged wonder, don't even get her started about what's to emerge from the soil any day now. This is, you know, any analogy, you know, Super Bowl, Grammys, anything like that, that's what it's like for us. It's huge. You've seen and heard cicadas before. But now, get ready for a kind we haven't seen in a long while. These are 17-year cicadas. And a lot of them, as many as 1.5 million per acre. After growing in the ground for nearly two decades, these guys, known as Brood 10, are ready to head to the surface and finally take flight to make that deafening mating call and reproduce. They've got bright red eyes, yellow wings, sort of dark bodies, um, and they live underground for 17 years and then all come out all at once in the spring. Sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> well, I mean, if it were another insect, it might be. These guys can't sting and they won't bite. They're just kind of loud and noisy and numerous. Okay, so now that you know they're safe, scientists need your help to track them. All you have to do is head outside and use your smartphone. So what are we looking for? So we're looking for about quarter sized holes in the ground. They're hoping as many people as possible will download one of two apps to take a picture of these cicadas, upload it and report where they find them. The information to be used in future research. It's important because last time around was 2004 after all and smartphones weren't all that smart. Now, Elizabeth Barnes says she realizes not everyone is that excited. You may even be bugged by the whole thing. If you're not a bug person, don't worry, it's gonna be over in a month and a half. And if you are a bug person, you know, get out there and try and enjoy it while it's there. It will be impossible to miss.